bit of controversial behaviour. People have been saying she's drunk. What is she, she actually like when the cameras go on? Uh, I don't think she's drunk. I think she's just really happy to be back on the X Factor. Um, one thing that does annoy me is that she can't, she hasn't learnt Zara's name. She's calling her Zara. And I've said to her, why, do you, why are you adding a Z? Um, and I said to Sarah, like, why, why don't you just say to Sharon, my name's Sarah. And she's too scared. She's like, I'm worried that she will take offence. But the guy, like, the guy's like, Sarah Alto. You're like, okay, he's just said it. She's like, it's Sarah, it's Sarah. Um, I think she, in a way she's just doing it to wind us all up. Some friends come down and they were like, we need to get a photo with Honey G. So I, we went, we went uh, looking around the corridors for a photo and uh, she, we found her and we said, can I have a photo? She's like, uh, sure, yeah, yeah, cool, but um, I've not got my glasses. And we're like, ah, she's like, so I can't do the photo. I was like, ah, okay. So I said, maybe just do a photo where you cover your eyes with your hand. And that's what she did. So let me see if I can find the picture. Lovely lady, very nice, yeah. But totally believes that she's the next big rap sensation. And who am I to say? Like all the time. Yeah. Is there any any point where she talks really posh? Like, oh, she God. is exactly as you on TV. That's how she is in the real world all the time. It's not an act. We heard it, we heard it from there. Yeah. <laughs> and if it is, then she's Daniel Day Lewis because she's maintained it for like she ten weeks. Like exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would I personally be happy? Well, listen, I have no, again, I have no say. I think it would be an amazing thing for her. I think it'd be a huge deal for the show because we've never had a rapper win the show before. Um, I think you, in a way, you've got to go with what the public say. But then we've said that about Brexit and Trump, haven't we? Do you think she's going to go on like Ryland and actually get a career out? Uh, yeah, quite possibly. I mean, I think that Ryland. Different type of career, but here's the thing with Ryland, right? He kind of knew what he was he, he was there to do. So he knew that he was maybe not the best singer, but he was there for entertainment. And I think, I don't think Honey G regards herself as a novelty act. I think she regards herself as offering something different. And other people may say, oh, she's the joke act or whatever, but she, I don't think she thinks that. So. Rylan kind of knew that he could go lots of different places with it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think we'll see Honey G doing the entertainment news on this morning, no. <laughs> what do you think we'll do with Honey G? Or rap with Honey G? Well, Snoop Dogg has volunteered himself, uh, which I think would be amazing. 50 Cent also is, uh, has volunteered. Uh, I mean, I would hope for a big American legit rap star. Yeah, yeah. Or for like um, Sting or someone, and she and she does uh, P Diddy's "I'll Be Missing You." She might feel out a valid one now. You never know. I love the idea that she would, in a sing-off, come out and just like sing amazingly well. Give it the full Sarah Alto. Um, but I think she's gonna stay rapping. Yeah, I don't know anyone. Get Eminem over.